Having been a painfully insecure person in my youth who now performs on stages in front of thousands of people, I get to share with you one of the most overlooked but really essential pieces in finding true happiness. By the way, I'm Michael Ravenwood, and I throw real lightning bolts to empower people and create harmony. Now, it's pretty obvious to everyone that we all have needs. And while it's also apparent that our happiness hinges upon the fulfillment of those needs, we don't often learn much about them in school. And here, I'm just going to go into one of them in particular, and it's self-respect. Now, we all understand that we have people that we love and respect, and we want their respect. And it feels really nice when we're recognized and a certain amount of our happiness can root there. But self-respect, another need that we have, cannot be given, nor can it be taken away. It can only be earned. And self-respect can be developed by keeping our word. We all want others to keep their word to us. So we know if we want to be around the kinds of people we want to be around, we ought to respect others and have integrity to our word. And another important piece of self-respect is that you do things that you don't actually think that you can do. What I mean by that is if you're only trying things that you really know you can do, and you do that over and over and over again, you don't really know that you can do difficult things. When we have respect for others, it's usually because they've done something that's really difficult or we perceive as difficult, and we think of them as uh, more amazing because they've done these things which we're not sure we could do. And in a way, it's the same for ourselves. And this is unfortunately one of the traps that many wealthy people end up in. Because once you've achieved wealth, you can create all kinds of comfort for yourself. And if you stay there too long, you start to lose a little bit of self-respect. Maybe you did something difficult in the past in order to achieve that wealth, or maybe you didn't. But in any case, if you're not regularly doing things that you're not sure you can do and succeeding at them ultimately, maybe encountering failure and pushing through and then continuing until you actually do the thing, then you kind of get this feeling like, I'm not sure if I could do difficult things. So it's incredibly important to put ourselves in a number of circumstances in our lives, if they're not already naturally provided, in which we're doing things that we're not sure we can actually do, in which we actually feel awkward or confused, and we get to embrace that feeling and keep going. There is a self-respect that we gain through this kind of activity that we can't gain otherwise, and it is an essential human need to respect yourself. So if you hear the ring of truth in what I've said, put respect in the comments. If you put respect in the comments, then I'll know that you got the message. And if you're interested in knowing a little more about how to develop confidence and self-respect, reach out to me.